Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. It is an absolutely beautiful Wednesday morning. Is it afternoon yet? It's going to be afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon now. Uh, so I just got up this morning, did my work, uh, had br breakfast, drank two full big glasses of water, and uh, right now I'm headed down to Newmarket to an ear, nor ear, nose, and throat specialist just to get a second opinion on the whole neck issue. Uh, just... Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the paperwork. Not good. Oh boy. Well, kind of screwed that up. Uh, I might have to phone Ben and have him take a picture of the paperwork and then I can show the doctor through my phone. Uh, that would probably be the only thing I can do at the moment. I was in a rush to get out of the house, realizing I don't have a whole, whole lot of time to get down there. I grabbed a hat. I'm going to park a little bit away from that area because it's all... Um, paid parking and everything. I also need the exercises. So this saves me money and also gets me to exercise, do a little walking, sitting at home all day editing. It's not good for you. So this will help motivate me and get the blood moving. All right, let's get out on the new market, see what this ear, nose and throat specialist is gonna do for me. Okay, made it down to Newmarket. Parked at this little plaza here. I always buy something at the convenience store on the way back. Usually I'd like to buy it beforehand to show my <laughs> patronage and support while I'm parking in there on their property. It's not like their parking lot's full, so I'm not taking up anybody else's spot. And I parked away from where all the main people would park to go into a convenience store and get out of there. So I'm going into this building. I'm late. 851 Davis. It is 12 after. My appointment was for 10 after 1. So I get in there quickly. Find out where the doctor is. Get my throat jacked out. I guess last August, I uh, was shaving, and then there was just like this big bump on my neck. Okay. And so I went to my doc regular doctor, then he referred me to, uh, I guess, a surgeon at Markham Stogel yeah. Hospital, and he aspirated it, and then it went away for quite some time, yeah. and then it came back just after Christmas, I think January, yeah. and he said, well, let's send you in for an ultrasound, or sorry, a, a biopsy. Yeah. So I asked the guy who did the biopsy, I said, can you please aspirate as much as you can out of it? Because it's, it's irritating and painful yeah. sometimes. And uh, so he did, and then... Yeah, that, I'm assuming they sent it off just to be tested to make sure there was nothing weird or wonderful, right? Yeah, okay. but it came back inconclusive. Yeah. They said I had a solid nodule. Is that is that just, like you said, you have your thyroid, then you have... You said follicles, and then is the follicle turned into a solid nodule, which then made the cyst? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get it, the puzzle I'm put together sure. in my head. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. It does say that, uh, here I'll show you, you've got the report, but that is the same report. I don't know how to read so it. So it basically says, um, uh, there is a solid component. So yes, within that cyst. Within the cyst. So sort of at the lower portion of that cyst, there is a more solid component. Now, it could have been that that's the blocked follicle. It could be that that's a separate nodule. It's hard to know for sure. Got it. Um, but it is, it's not a big cyst, and it doesn't have any concerning features. Like, there are certain features in an ultrasound that make us more worried. Okay. It didn't have any of those Great. features. So that's so a low risk for, for concern there. I would I would say an ultrasound in six months just to sort of right. assess for any interval change is very reasonable. And if I don't get the cyst back in six months, too, it just is possible that it's kind of possibly on. rectify itself. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's, right. let's pray for that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the requisition, and then this is all the different locations. Okay, okay. so there's phone numbers there. You can even call in advance and set it up. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. All right, so good news. It is possible that it'll just stay away forever, which is what I want. So let's keep our fingers crossed. So I have an ultrasound uh, in December. I have to book it like about three months ahead. And then I'm coming back here in six months to talk to her again. Let's get back to the car. Hopefully we can get a ticket. And then we'll go to, to Henry's because I've scratched the lens on this camera. I'm not sure if you've noticed when there are certain sun or light situations. It's got a weird glare on it. So there's a special protector that you can put over it that I didn't know about until I saw another YouTuber holding one of these cameras. So let's go to Henry's. Like I said, went into the Easy Mart, grabbed myself a Gatorade for another bike ride coming up. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Good. It's Brian, everyone. There he <laughs> is. Going? All right, how are you doing? Good. Excellent. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Don't mind me, I'm just doing a little triangle book I'm trying to make. Oh, what kind of book? Well, if you're out shooting, you need like a quick reference guide. Oh, okay. There's apps, there's all these other things. I just want to get a little booklet with the essentials. What is the shutter speed? What is an aperture? How do they work together? What are some quick little charts that you might need to know, like focal length, what should your shutter speed be at 300 millimeter and so on to get sharpness. Right. It's just a little thing you can keep in your camera bag and just pull out and refer to. Quick, quick access. Yeah, and a lot of people don't want to sit there on the phone and pull up apps and right. stuff. So, I mean, we're talking about different generations of people. Very too. cool. We'll, yes. we'll, we'll pimp it out when you're all done. Ah, thanks, buddy. No problem. What's up? What can I do for you? Hey, just shoot me a message on Facebook or something. If you want me all right, see ya. Right. Ciao. Take care. Brian has ordered the lens protector for this. Really, again, wish I knew known there was one for this. So this camera, what I'm looking at right now is the actual lens. It's not like a piece of glass over the lens. You, you'd think that it would be, I guess. I guess the fact that it's, they figure that you're gonna be putting it in the underwater case for most of the shots. You're not gonna be running around with it in your pocket like I do. Uh, that I would think that that was a protective piece of glass, but it's not, it's the actual lens. So we'll have to deal with a scratch lens for a little bit longer and we'll try and work on some more sponsorships so that we can uh, buy another camera and then use this as the secondary camera, the backup. That's the way we're gonna have to go. Hello again. It is 7.30. Just finished putting the cook and review together. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I had to knock it down from 30 minutes and there was like good stuff in there pretty much the whole way through. I'm like, that's got to go. That's got to go. Like big stories and stuff that Paul and I will tell. And But it's just, I, we, I can't uh, have a 30 minute show. I don't think anybody would watch it. Uh, it's just too long. Too long. I apologize to the people who would love to watch a 30 minute cooking show. But my analytics tell me nobody watches 30 minute cooking shows on my cooking show. So there might be other people's cooking shows that people watch. But anyway, so now I've got to cut the lawn. Disaster. really long so like 
more just kept getting clogged and clogged and you had to stop and then shake it until it cleared itself. But, uh, that's way better than I did. Can't afford to have it grow anymore. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. See ya.